Bukoko won the men's full marathon in 2013 and 14, crossed the finish line at Shanghai Stadium in 2 hours, 10 minutes and 18 seconds. He joins us from our Pretoria studios right now. I know he said he was not happy with his time. Stephen, thank you very much for joining us first and foremost on Sports and Prime. And congratulations for that victory. No, no, thanks, thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks mm. for having me. It's, th it's three victories now. Uh, it seems it's, it's, it's turning out to be one of your favorite races. I mean, it's, it's not everyone can go back and say, I won that marathon more than two times of any sorts. Stephen, can you hear me? No, no, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Let me repeat the question. I'm saying it's, it seems that it's becoming your favorite marathon. Uh, third time, well, not so lucky because you've won it before, but third time lucky in the sense that, you know, you're making it, you've got your name on the, on, on the winner's board three times, 2013, 2014, and 2016. It's one of your better ones, so to speak. I can say I enjoy, firstly, I can say I enjoy racing in China, basically because... Uh, the race on its own, it's sponsored by Nike, and I'm a Nike athlete, so the reception that I always get there is always awesome. And then secondly, I would like to thank God, my family, uh, my management, my coach, and everyone who supports me, because without them, I wouldn't have made it. Mm. So I can say winning it third time, even though this I didn't prepare enough, because I normally when I prepare for marathon, I prepare 14 weeks. But this year I prepared only for 10 weeks. So I can mm. say I'm, like, it's one of the victories that I will never forget because I was four weeks shy from my preparation in terms of marathon program. But I managed to win, so I'm very happy about that. Mm. The field, as far as the, is, is concerned, it was an invite, sort of like you know, 30 classic ri uh, runners such as yourself invited to this. So it was pretty much an elite field, uh, so to speak. No, it, it was a big field, like normally, because... Every time when they invite us, they invite strong athletes, and it's one of those days where you need st uh, a strong support system next to you. Like uh, when you have a coach that can, I mean, keep on you motivated when it's tough. Me personally, I can say the people that I have, my entire team that I have, it's one of th those teams that when I'm feeling down or frustrated or so, they can calm me down and then make me focus in the race on its own. So I can say. I was nervous the night before, mm. even in the race I was nervous, but at some point in the race where I, I, I could see that like, there is a possibility of a win, that's when I became comfortable and become calm, and then eventually I managed to win. So I can say it was one of the toughest <laughs> marathon ever this year for me, hence I said earlier, mm. due to the fact that I didn't prepare enough this year. Well, you're a 10,000 meter specialist in as far as, as Stephen McCorker's uh, career is concerned. You've just won the African uh, Championships in Durban in June this year. In Rio, you also ran the 10,000, uh, finished 18th there. It's, it's, t speak to us about your season so far. I mean, it's, you're going to the end of the year now and you've just recorded victory. I know you wanted to do well in Rio. I remember speaking to you guys two days before, before, before your races. Yes, yes, I can say this was one of the best years ever in my career because I managed to teach like, uh, I mean, winning Africa championships mm. and the good part is doing it at home. So I can say it's, it's one of the victories that I will never, never forget because I know it will go down with history because I did it at home with the support of, uh, of South Africans. And then again, me going back to America for Prefontaine Classic because all the Nike athletes are always invited at Prefontaine, yeah. running at 27 minutes again. And then again, the memory that I will never forget again is uh, the essays, 10K, where the crowd was standing, cheering at me the whole entire race. It's one of those things that you think, how can people stand up and cheer at you for like almost 30 minutes? They devoted everything to, to the track, watching me running the 10K on my own. Mm. But uh, they made it feel like it was too short, even though it was, it was hard. So for me, I can say it has been a great year for me. Yep. And then one other thing is going to the Olympics, being able to run at 27 minutes again. It's the first 27 minutes I ever ran on the track in terms of championships. So I can say the year has been going well. And I'm very happy that eventually my last race of the season, I, I, I closed it with a, with a, with a good result. Yep. I mean, winning a Shanghai Marathon for the third time. So I can yeah. say I had a very good route here. Yeah. And I'm hoping next year things turns better than this year. Well, unfortunately, we run out of time. But quickly, 
this weekend, Soweto Marathon, and you say you're not running. Um, your predictions for that? What do you think of, of, of that one? I know you probably would love to be there as well. No, Soweto, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but uh, I, I think maybe somebody who's going to win, they can run around 215, 216 maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. I don't know, but I think somewhere there. If Stephen is running? I'm hoping that South African can, can do well this time. Is it okay? Stephen McCorker speaking to us from our Pretoria studios, long distance runner, winner of the Shanghai Marathon. Thank you very much indeed for joining us from our studios there.